Yo, what is up guys? It is 2 a.m. No joke right now, 2 a.m. I just finished up my stream, raided my buddy Jim and M, and he's playing with a dude uh, named Bryson Creates. Now, I've heard of Bryson because someone recommended him to me the other day and said I need to react to some of his music. So Jim told me right then that I need to go and react to one of Bryson's songs, and they recommended specifically this song, Chapter and Verse. And so I went over and looked him up. Um, Bryson Gray is his name on YouTube and his actual name. Uh, but his name on Twitch, if you want to follow him over there, is Bryson Creates. So we're going to give a listen to chapter and verse. Uh, Bryson did say, you know, some of his stuff's pretty controversial, so I'm kind of excited to get into that. Uh, with that said, let's give this a listen, guys. Oh, and hey, if you're not already, follow me over on Twitch, guys. Stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You can come hang out with me at 2 a.m. like uh, it is right now. All right, let's give a song a listen, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Let's jump right in. I mean, I kind of knew this is where the song was going to go, right? Ca talking chapter and verse. We're already talking about those who, uh, who preach from feelings, who, 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 who build up their own theologies based on what they feel and what they think that God would find acceptable. And whenever something in the Bible goes against what they believe or something in the Bible goes against their feelings or what they think or how they choose to live their life, they then try to turn it around and say, well, well, a loving God wouldn't do that, right? I just don't feel like God's character is that. And and really, that word can't mean that. If we look at the original language, it must mean this. And and we so often spend so much time trying to justify our sin when if we look at the word of God, if we just look at what God said, if we look at the words put in on the page, the chapter and verse, we will find truth and we will find life and abundance in that word if we will put our faith, hope, and trust in that word and not what we want God to say. Faith is not trusting that God will do what I want him to do. Faith is trusting in God, even with what he wants, does not look like what I want, right? That's what faith is. All right, let's keep going. I like it. I like it. I don't care about your theology. Colossians 2, 8, do not be sport with philosophy. Are you following Jesus or do you follow mythology? Are you following Christ a man? Don't choose idolatry. And now, nah, Bryson, do not care about no denominations. The Bible says do not rely on private interpretations. And Jesus said the Jews didn't understand what he was saying. Inside of me wasn't even tolerated among pagans. Hey, let us trust. All right, all right. I, I want to jump back to something he said as soon as I clicked. Uh, I should have stopped and talked about it. Um, as soon as I hit play, he said, are you following Jesus? Or are you following mythology? And, and this is something that I, I always want to bring up. People are like, all you've got to do is believe. Yes, but you've got to believe in Jesus. You've got to believe in Jesus. There are people that are creating their own gods and giving it the label of Jesus, but that's not Jesus. You, you, you can't just make up any figure you want Name it Jesus and think that you are saved. That's not true. You've got to actually follow the person of Jesus. Also, just so you know that Romans 10, 9, where it says all you got to do is believe in your heart and say with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. There is some weight to that word, by the way. It's not just saying, oh, Jesus is Lord. Now I'm saved. The word Lord actually has a meaning. It's, it's a master-slave relationship. When you're saying Jesus is Lord, you are saying he is the Lord of my life. He is the master of my life. Now, meaning that if Jesus is Lord, your life should change. Your lifestyle should change. The way that you think should change. The things that you do should change. There should be life change following salvation every single time. If, if you are following a created God, that God will not save you, even if you give it the name of Jesus. You've got to follow the person of Jesus, the Son of God who left his throne in heaven and came down and so make sure that you are actually worshiping the real jesus make sure you are worshiping 
the real son of God. Look in scripture, get to the chapter and verse, open up the book, read the book of John. Don't listen to what your pastor says or what the TV preacher says. Don't listen to those. Open up the Bible and read it for yourself and make sure you are worshiping and following the real Jesus. Okay, let's go. Now I'm feeling like Paul. When I speak truth, then y'all turning to Saul. I know that Satan is playing the fall. I see the evil exposing it all. Know that you blind against evil to fall. Y'all preaching things as I scripture at all. The worst is I can't associate with y'all. That's the evil, but then they're not what it's called. Hey, I don't want opinions. I want chapter and verse. Hey, hey, chapter and verse. Hey, hey, chapter and verse. Hey, hey, please don't give me feelings. Give me chapter and verse. Hey, hey, chapter and verse. Hey, hey, chapter and verse. Hey, Romans 2 6, you judge according to your works. Hey, but you say that ain't what pastors preaching in your church. Hey, second Corinthians 517, that's gonna hurt. Hey, hey, but I'ma preach the word and none of that hate gonna work. Hey, hey, now I don't know what you heard, but don't believe anyone that can't show you the word. Revelation 21, 8, now let's observe. All of the wicked gonna get exactly what they deserve. Hey, Hebrews 10, 26, they don't wanna read it. Hey, John 14, 24, they don't wanna see it. Hey, Hebrews 6, 4 through 6, now they can't believe it, hey, they don't like the commandments because we gotta yeah. keep it, yeah. I don't want opinions, I want chapter and verse, mm. hey, hey. And that's what we should all be striving for, and, and I'm gonna say this, guys, uh, I'm a pastor, I'm a preacher, I, I, I preach every single week uh, to my teenagers, I preach once a month to, to big church, I mean, this is, this is what I do. And this is honestly something that we as pastors, we've got to do too. We've got to make sure we have chapter and verse. Like, yeah, we can get up there and we can get to rolling. We can get to writing, right? Um, but we've got to make sure that everything we say is biblically, uh, biblically based, right? Because a lot of times we get in the, the habit of, we heard someone say this and we heard someone say that and we've always heard this. And, and so we'll include it into our sermons, never doing the research to make sure what we're actually saying is biblically based. And that's something we've got to do just even as pastors uh, and, and preachers, and, and I do ask for some grace from you guys, um, you know, understand that when your pastor gets up there every single week, there's a lot of time and a lot of effort that goes into that. And yeah, sometimes we can rattle off things that we heard and it may come, not come out to be true. And don't, I don't know everyone's church, but myself in particular, if I say something that's not true, especially from the pulpit or in one of these vi videos, do me a favor, come to me privately, let me know, let's look through and walk through it together, right? Uh, we're not, we're not perfect. We're not perfect. Most of us, and myself, at least me, we didn't become a pastor because we got the entire Bible memorized and because we're so amazing and incredible. We're trying to do what we feel like God is calling us to do. And in doing that, sometimes there'll be mistakes and stuff. But uh, I know that's one thing as a pastor I've got to work on. I've got to, you know, make sure every single thing I can point to the chapter and verse. You know, anyway, that's just maybe a little bit of transparency from me and maybe asking for a little bit of grace for your pastors as well. Um, but don't, don't be afraid to, you know, have a, have a private sit down. The Bible says, if you see a brother doing wrong, um, that you should go to them in private, uh, at least at first. And then uh, as they don't listen to that, you, you kind of bring in more people, uh, and then eventually go publicly. But I do think there's a lot of power in going to uh, a speaker or, or, or pastor privately and just let them know, uh, and maybe make sure you come with, you know, chapter and verse and, and understand their rationale. Uh, anyway, all right, let's get back to it. Chapter and verse, hey, chapter and verse, hey, hey, please don't give me feelings, give me chapter and verse, hey, hey, chapter and verse, hey, hey, chapter and verse, hey, Romans 2, 6, you judge according to your words, hey, but you say that ain't what pastors preaching in your church, hey, when you read Hebrew chapter 6, then it's gonna hurt, hey, I'ma preach God's word and all that hate won't work, hey, hey. You can find the chapter and verse right now. Yo, that's good. All right, that's good. Yeah, man, I, uh, I'm i impressed, Jim. Thank you so much for shouting out, guys. And I know there's been a few other people over on Twitch just told me to listen to Bryson. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to be checking out a lot more of his stuff. I want to dig into some of the real controversial stuff pretty soon. Uh, I have a lot of reactions coming up, guys. I just wanted to get this one out tonight. Uh, while it was recommended, it was fresh on my brain. Um, but I've been writing down all the recommendations you guys have had in the comments and stuff. And so... I've been jotting those down. I've got a lot of artists I'm going to be listening to for the very first time and be giving you guys those reactions. So I really do appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out. If you're not already, sub to the channel. Hit the bell so you never miss one of these videos. Also, follow me over on Twitch. Again, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I'd love for you guys to come hang out sometime. All right, I will catch y'all in the next one. And keep living the bold life.